Well, firstly, thank you. Um, yeah, not much planned for today. I'm just, I think I'm just going to go out and have some lunch. Um, yeah, have some lunch with the girls and then um, just call my parents and have a chat with them. Um, I think that's still yet to come. I think there's some of them planning to take me out for lunch and then who knows what will happen after that. Um, yeah, first real big rugby tour, especially overseas. Yeah, it's been really good. Um, a very different experience from obviously being in Australia, different kind of weathers. Um, but yeah, it's been good so far. Um, yeah, I think there's definitely parts of my game that have grown and that's to the work of the coaches and the girls around me, but I think more the mental side of the game is what I've been focusing on. Um, being able to just move on when errors happen um, and not try to focus or dwell on it too much. And then obviously I think re, um, redefine, re, 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 what's the word? Re-refining? Defining. Define. The finding my um, kicking game has obviously been a big thing as well, uh, making sure everything is um, to a process and, yeah. Um, yeah, well, obviously, both the island and the Wales um, tend to have massive boots on them. So I think when the wind's behind us, just using that to my advantage and plugging them into corners, but against the wind, I think it's keeping the ball a bit lower and just driving as hard as you can. Um, yeah, obviously, from the first couple games, um, it was all new, so... I was still trying to figure out what test footage was like. It's obviously a big step up from Super W, but yeah, it taught me um, about things in my game that I didn't know I needed working on, like more like knowledge of backfield. Like it's very different from Super W to um, playing obviously for your country in the national scene because everyone's got bigger boots. Um, they're all finding different holes to what you used to um, in Super W. So yeah, obviously made me learn a lot about my game and what I need to improve on. Um, obviously, yeah, the 10 has a massive boot on her. It's about 50, 60 metres on the fly. So um, I think they'll use her a lot to get them out of trouble and get them out of the end. So I think just staying deep um, in the backfield and working really hard um, to catch a ball in the full and then counter-attack. Um, yeah, probably um, Maya Stewart and G Fred. Um, they're really um, looking after me this tour, um, kind of like an auntie or something, or a <laughs> cousin. Yeah, I've just been leaning on them for help when I need it. Um, yeah, they're very supportive. They might not play my position, but they're always looking out for me and always um, someone that I can go to if I need anything. Um, not too sure yet, but I think eventually it'll start, I'll start to get a new nickname probably. Um, yeah, me and Tala have known each other for a while. We played a couple of, um, junior things with and against each other. So yeah, we've, we've, work some combinations, but yeah, Tulla is an amazing 10. I think she really takes on the line and she's got a good boot on her, so hopefully we can work together in that backfield and run a mock. All right, thank you so much. Yeah, look, we're definitely wanting to increase our ruck speed, but that just comes down to our effectiveness at the breakdown. 
Um, we just need to clean up a little bit of those areas there so we can secure our ball and play with more footy, which unfortunately we didn't get the chance of against Ireland. Yeah, definitely. Very frustrating. We didn't play anywhere near our potential and that was um, a big letdown by us. Um, but I think we have a lot to work for this weekend. I think we've got a lot to prove this weekend. So if we can come back from that review and stick to our word and play how we do, we can definitely take on Wales. Yeah, definitely. Look, it's not the situation you want to be in going to these games, but it's one of those stories where you become the underdog, you learn from the lessons that you haven't done, and you're going to grow more as a person, more as an athlete for these next couple of games. It's about that character that comes, that heart you want to play with, and that determination to be better. And that's where we've all got to lift and play for these next four games the best to our ability. Yeah, definitely. I think when we play Wales, it always comes down to a bit of a dogfight. <laughs> um, it's pretty funny, like it's always those tough tussle matches, but I think like if we can play our game plan, we can come out of it a different team and we can play these games a lot better than we have been traditionally and not get into that dogfight, not play to that level and stick to our level and play to the best of our abilities, which is fast, clean rucks. Um, but yeah, Wales are great at counter countering that and they are pests at the rucks and they're dominant in their tackles. So that's something we've got to look out for because that's what they do well against us. They change the game of how we play and we need to be able to adapt to that. So I think it's definitely a big challenge to us, but if we can learn and be able to combat what they do, we'll be able to take them off the park. Yeah, definitely. Tell us a fresh face and she's got so many different assets to Bella. So it's very exciting. Um, it's hard when you've played with one person for such a long time, but it's also a great challenge and something that I'm really looking forward to playing with Tala. She's a very dynamic footy player. She takes it to the line and plays late, which is such an asset of hers. And I'm so excited to see what she brings to the field and just her kicking game as well. I think Bella and her are both great tens. They just bring different games. And yeah, I'm really excited to experience playing with Fatella. <laughs> yeah, she's grown so much. I mean, it's 18th birthday today, so she's grown up now. But um, no, I think she's come a long way and I'm so excited for her. I definitely think this isn't just the finish of her journey. This is still the start. I think um, she's got so much growth and potential to come. It's such She's such an exciting footy player and I think this opportunity for her is great and I can't wait to take that field with her. It is another game, but it's nice to have your opponent before you play them for the second time. I mean, you get to understand what they do. You get to understand what little tricks they have up their sleeve. But it's also unfortunate because they get to find out ours too. So it comes, I think, the the intensity of the match lifts in that second match. Um, it's such a good challenge for playing the team two times in a row. I think it's really exciting to be able to do that and we can lift our game for the next one and it just becomes a highly competitive match where both teams are out to combat whatever result comes from it. Wonderful. Thanks very much, Brian. No worries. Bye. Thank you.